I mean, good? That's good. I don't have to fix anything. But where did it go? Where did it go? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I don't know. The thing disappeared. Hey everybody, I'm back in the car and back on a dash. It is July 16th. It is a Tuesday. It is very late in the day. It is 4.38. Um, I just left the uh, office of my tax person. Uh, I was there for over an hour and then I came over here to Wawa to get gas and a drink. I'm just watching what that Amazon dude is doing. Let me tell you something though. As soon as I left the condo, um, the tax office is very close to the condo, by the way. Let me start there. Uh, as soon as I left the condo, as soon as I started driving the car, I'm like, something's not right. At first, I thought I had a flat tire. Just because of like, because there was this weird sound. and But the car didn't seem to be like, um driving weird or anything like that it's functioning normally but there was this weird sound so my first thought was I must have a flat tire so I drove I finished driving to the tax office because I was going to be late anyways and I got there and I got out of the car and there's 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 no problems with any of the tires so I'm like okay I go into the tax office I come back out and I drive back home so I can give Potato all the tax documents because I don't want to drive around with those in my car. And you know she takes those upstairs and as I'm leaving and I'm driving, um, it kind of dawns on me like there's something dragging under my car. So I stop the car, I get out, I look as best as I can <laughs> under the car. And sure enough, like right in the center of the car, there's something hanging down. And I, I'm like, okay, so I drive to Wawa, I get gas, and then I get my phone, and I try and take a picture, because I can't really see what it is. So I take a picture, and I try I use, try to use a flash and stuff, but like, I can't get a clear picture of what it is. It, it's like a, a big flap. It's not like a branch or something. It's like a flap. Of, it's like a I don't know what it is I don't know if it's a piece of my car that's falling off um, or if it's something that's like got stuck on my car that I'm just dragging around because um, the last time I drove my car was Sunday Sunday if you saw that video where there was like a huge storm at the end of the day so if I had run over something or something got caught in my car like something was got under there somehow do you know what I mean I wouldn't have heard the noise of it dragging because the storm was so loud it was raining so hard I don't understand what it is like is is there is there parts of the car underneath that would fall off like big flaps of something I'm, I'm gonna drive in a minute and you'll hear it but I don't want to go to like the dealership <laughs> y'all I just paid so much for a battery um, and I'm not even gonna talk about my taxes right now um, do you know what I mean like I'm thinking maybe maybe I should just drive to the neighborhood that has the brick roads and see if I can get it to just fall off. And then I could stop and get it and see what it is. Do you know what I mean? Because it's way in the middle of the car. And you can, you can hear it when I'm driving. I'm sure everyone around me is like, what the hell is that? You can hear it when I'm driving the car. But I mean, if it was something that was integral to like the car functioning, the car wouldn't be functioning right now. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm wondering, like, if I go to, like, um, if I go to, like, Tires Plus or something and just be like, did you see that bird? And be like, um, 
There's something dragging under my car. Can you see, see what it is? Can you just look and see what it is? Do you think they'll, do you think that they would charge me? See, that's, I don't want nobody to charge me. <laughs> I'm not trying to pay any money. I mean, but I mean, you see the car is fine. I can't really hear it dragging on these roads because the roads are just so loud. And I'm not going that fast. Yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do, kids. what we're gonna do. It sounds different. Where are there speed, there's speed bumps in front of these, uh, in front of Aldi and stuff. Let's try the speed bumps next and see if that gets it off. And if not, maybe we can just go to Tires Plus and ask them. And I'll just be real straightforward, like, look, <laughs> I ain't got no money to pay you. <laughs> There's something dragging under my car. Can somebody try and grab it, please? I can pay you like $20. <sighs> Here's what happened. Um, yeah, I don't even see anything in that spot. I'm gonna drive this way and look. Here's what happened, okay? We all clearly heard there's nothing even in the spa. Oh my god. So this is what happened. We all heard the thing dragging, okay? I go in there and I told the dude, I'm like, you know, I have a weird request. Something's dragging under my car and I'm just wondering if, you know, somebody can look at it for me because I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a part of my car or whatever. So he's like, yeah, sure. So dude comes out, he gets, you know, down on the floor to look under my car he sees it he tries to pull it off he can't get it off i'm like you know he tells me it's like a it's some kind of like plastic um or like hard like a splash guard kind of thing that keeps the water and the dirt and everything from getting somewhere i don't know i'm like okay so how much to like if we wanted to take that off because you know i'm like i don't want it dragging around while i'm driving so he's like, oh, let's go in and find out. We go inside, he asks, I guess, the boss person. The boss person is like, uh, just have her, just have her pull it around. I'm like, okay, pull it to the back. A young kid comes out. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get it off for you. He starts looking under the car and it's not there. Now mind you, I was parked on the side of the building. He said, pull it to the back. I, while I was parked on the side of the building, that's when the dude came out and looked under the car and saw it. Couldn't get it off. That dude came back inside with me. Okay? They're like, pull it around. So I go back up by myself. I get the car. I pull it to the back. I didn't even realize it wasn't making the noise. A dude comes out. He looks under the car. He's like, there's nothing there. I'm like, what? He's like, there's nothing there. There's nothing hanging. So I look under the car and sure as shit, there's nothing there. I'm like, okay, that's weird. Did it fall off? So him and I walk back behind the building, back to the side of the building where I was parked. There's nothing anywhere where it would have fallen off. It's not under the car and it's not anywhere that I drove from the side of the building to the back. The thing literally fucking disappeared and it was there. The dude saw it. I have a picture. We all heard it. It didn't fall off before I got there because the dude saw it under my car. Heaven. <laughs> I mean, good. That's good. I don't have to fix anything. But where did it go? Where did it go? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I don't know. The thing disappeared. 
Oh boy. I'm not gonna complain about it. It's fixed. Well, I am sitting here and I have DoorDash and Uber Eats on. I received as my first order a Dollar General order for 40 items. 40 items. At Dollar General. Could you imagine that torture? $4.75, 2.6 miles for Portillo's. That's a no. And then I got another one on DoorDash that was, what was the second one? It was like a Chipotle and a Dash Mart. That was upside down in miles, so of course I didn't take that one. Listen, and it's 536. 582, 2.9 miles for five guys. That's not bad. Let's look at this drop off. That's not too, I mean, that's not great. But that's not bad, so I'll take that one. Okay, so here's what happened. I went in to pick up the order. I, you know, I asked for the name. The Five Guys guy, the Five Guys guy, said that um, the, the customer had been calling them and said he was gonna pick it up himself. To not give it to the delivery driver, he's gonna pick it up himself. So they wouldn't give me the food. I'm like, okay. And just as he's telling me this, the customer walks in, the guy walks in. And I'm like, okay, I'm, before the customer walked in, I told the, the Five Guys guy, I'm like, I'm gonna have to call support and they're gonna cancel the order, which means he's not paying for it. So you guys are gonna have to ring him up here and charge him for the food or he's gonna get it for free. And they're like, okay, so then the, the guy walks in, right? And so the guy, the Five Guys guy, very brilliantly says to the customer, he's like, since you're picking a, it up yourself, we're going to cancel the delivery order so you don't have to pay all those delivery fees and everything, and we're going to ring you up here. So the guy's like, okay. So, you know, they ring him up, takes me forever with support because now they have this new like virtual crap where they want to tell, you, you know, they're like, please tell us the issue so we can send you to the correct person. But like, no matter what I would say, like, is this your issue? Like, no. Is this your issue? No, it was really irritating. I finally got through to a person, told them what was going on. They canceled it. They told me since I drove there and I was there for minutes or whatever, I would get half pay. And then the guy feeling bad that I was wasting my time there, gave me a cash tip. I don't know, four dollars? One, two, five dollars. He gave me five dollars. Um, and then he explained to me, he didn't order through DoorDash, he ordered through the Five Guys app. And somehow, you know, like it gets, it gets dispatched to us, but somehow the address that DoorDash had was incorrect and was like really far away. And so when he saw that, he didn't know who he could call to change the address and he didn't see any way he could change the address because it didn't match what the address was um, that he put in for like on the Five Guys website. So he figured the only thing he could do <laughs> was to go pick it up himself so that the food wouldn't be brought to the wrong place and he couldn't he couldn't um like figure out how to cancel it or whatever whatever so like that's that's how it happened that he was going to pick it up himself eight dollars fifty cents seven point one miles for dash mart accepting This is 19 minutes away. Oh my god. But look at this, y'all. Look at this. 
three Ritz crackers. A whole family size. That's a lot of Ritz crackers right there. They had a whole bunch of boxes. I was tempted to take more than one because everybody in my house likes Ritz crackers. You know? And that's like, it's hurricane season. You need stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I should have took more than one. But I didn't want, I didn't want to appear greedy. <laughs> but look at what happened with the tortillas. You remember? Do you remember the tortillas? I came up here in here to get something, you know, pick up an order, and they had tortillas. So I got the tortillas. I came back later in the day, there were still tortillas there. Like, maybe, maybe the people don't understand that that stuff is free and you can just take it. Here's the next one, $16.25. 3.7 miles, it's for a Winn-Dixie shop for 25 items. I mean, I guess so. Shop.windixie.com. Exclusion apply. See windixie.com slash offer batches. my car I am trying to connect with an agent on DoorDash support because it's the app isn't working in there it just keeps saying something went wrong when I click on start shopping there is gonna make me sneeze I um, you know I, I closed the app for start for stopped it reopened it uh, you know restarted my phone and I just keep getting that that same error it won't bring me um, to the list so I can actually start doing the order it just says something went wrong so I'm I tried connecting uh, with support through chat and they said something about they don't have any information on this error um, I guess that's like the uh, virtual help or whatever. So they're trying to connect me to an agent. And it said it would be two minutes. And I don't know how many minutes ago that was. And I was standing in the Winn-Dixie, like kind of by the door. And then a mosquito was trying to get me. So I left and I came to sit in the car. And I'm still waiting uh, for support to come on here because the thing is I could unassign the order but then it's going to go against my completion rate and I don't want it to go against my completion rate because it's not my fault it's not working it's not like I just walked in there and decided eh, I'm not going to do this one so you know why should I be penalized for that <laughs> 